Now that's it for this course section. And you therefore now know what prompt engineering is and why it matters. Because good prompts lead to better results and simply allow you to use ChatGPT in a more efficient way. Now when it comes to prompt engineering and to writing good prompts, you learned that it's in the end about combining a goal with context, with some extra additional information. For example, with a role and then all the other extra constraints and extra information that might allow ChatGPT to provide a better response. You learned that you should try to write your prompt by combining short focused sentences that contain any relevant information and keywords that might be required but should avoid unnecessary information. You might want to consider defining your target audience, the tone, style and length of the target output depending on what your prompt is all about of course. And that you can, for example, also control the output format and, for example, get ChatGPT to give you JSON formatted data instead of plain text as a response. You then learned about different tricks and prompting techniques you should be aware of, like zero, one or a few shot prompting, which in the end simply means that you could add extra examples or templates that should be used by ChatGPT to your prompts. You learned about ask before answer prompting, which can be very useful since it gets ChatGPT to tell you which extra information might be needed. And you learned about these more niche and slightly more advanced techniques like perspective prompting, where for certain problems it can be useful to get ChatGPT to not just assume a single role, but multiple perspectives that can be used in the answer it generates. And you learned that ChatGPT can help you write better prompts, not just by telling you which extra information could be added, but also by getting ChatGPT to evaluate itself, or to give you example prompts, or to even give you a list of prompting techniques you could use in addition to the techniques you learned about in this section here. Now what's really important to keep in mind is that ChatGPT still only gives you a starting point. The output you get from ChatGPT can contain errors and it can also be written in a very generic way. So you should therefore always evaluate the output, improve it and add your own personal touch to it. Just throwing some problem at ChatGPT and then using the output without testing or checking or improving it can sometimes work, but can also sometimes lead to pretty bad results and potentially big problems. But with that, we now got the prompt engineering out of the way and you now know what it takes to write good prompts and we're therefore ready to dive deeper into this course and into ChatGPT and how it can be used to boost your productivity.